I wanted to provide you with a six month review on the EG4 6000 XP inverter. I've had this hooked up and running daily and almost used a megawatt of energy through this thing paired with the Sun Gold Power 10 kilowatt hour of capacity batteries. So these are five kilowatt hours each and I've got them or ran together to create 10 kilowatt hours of capacity. And I'm running that through uh, basically six panels that I have outside at 400 watts each. Give me around 2,400 watts of solar array that generates the power to power these batteries and to power my studio here. This has run flawlessly, not one problem out of the EG4 6000 XP. And some people say that it can't run a 30 amp breaker. I wanna get that right off the rip that you can. I have a hot water heater hooked on a circuit uh, on my panel box and it runs that hot water heater flawlessly. So I have no problem with that. Yes, you can overload it. And if I turn on my uh, mini split, my 24,000 uh, BTU mini split with a hot water heater, yes, it's gonna overload. I know it's limitations, so I don't go above those limitations. Just when you're looking at inverters, make sure you know it's limitations. If I wanted more, I could put two of these together to create that opportunity to run everything in my shop at one time, which I will never do. So I know that one of these is fine for me and I've had absolutely zero problems out of it. Now, if you're looking for a video on how to install this, I have a full video on installation of this and these two batteries, so you can check that out. However, I am planning on switching out the batteries for a brand new EG4 15 kilowatt hour battery. This bad boy right here. I've had this in my shop for a while. I just haven't done anything with it. I bought this with my own money. Same with that. So my review is on my money. So I'm ready to hook this one up because it gives me 15 kilowatt hours of capacity and it's going to take care of all this junk right here. I don't like that. That's not how you should do it. So I have a trough that will sit right on top of this and then that will sit on top of the box. I'll have a full video on that as well. I'll have links in the description below to all of this stuff if you're interested in it, but I am gonna be making a video hooking this battery to that 6000 XP, but I did wanna provide you with an update on how this thing's been running over the last six months. I installed this around September of 2024 and now it's March of 2025. So I've ran it almost one megawatt during that time to make sure that I put a lot of use on it, just find out if I could find any problems with it. I have only ran one branch of solar to it. So I haven't maxed out its capabilities in solar and generator, I haven't tested at all. I don't hook a generator to it. I use solar to charge my batteries and to power the shop when I got excess um, power coming in, I use that to do that. I do have it hooked to AC uh, grid. Now this doesn't feed the grid. This just accepts power from the grid. If my solar panels can't charge enough of these batteries, once they get down to 20%, this will automatically kick on from the grid and start charging those batteries. But it does not provide any power to the grid. So this is an off-grid system. You do not have to have the AC connection for that. That's just a backup for me because I don't have a large enough solar array. I have it on a test solar array of 2,400 watts, what I have it on the outside of my shop here. And that does really well, but there has been times to where I have to charge this uh, batteries with AC simply because I don't have a large enough array. However, like I said, this has performed flawlessly. So let's take a look at the items that this actually does power and sometimes it will power all this at the same time. Uh, I try not to have the uh, mini split running at the same time as the hot water heater because I know that hot water heater runs <laughs> around 48 to 5,000 watts just by itself when it's heating the water up. So as long as we don't have anything else on when that hot water heater is on, we're good. But we could push it a little bit with lights and things of that sort because they don't use too much power. So I just try to make sure to be mindful of those type of things. And if you do that, you're not gonna have any problem with the 6000 XP. My overall number one complaint of this inverter is that I think it's noisy compared 
to my Blue Eddy system that I have over on my house. That thing makes no noise whatsoever. You might not be able to hear this cause I got noise cancelization on my microphone, but I will put a, a sound meter up to it and kind of show you what type of sounds this thing puts out if you're using large loads on it, like the hot water heater or something like that. And that is basically the only thing that I really have to say negative about the 6000 XP. And to be honest with you, there are other inverters much louder than this one. I just know of inverters that are much quieter than this one as well. So I need to point that out. So if you're going to put this in somewhere where you're not going to be around it, that is absolutely no problem. But if you're going to have this in proximity where you're going to be working a lot like I do in here, this noise could be a little bit of a problem. Something that may be important to you as well is that this performed excellent under dusty environments. I would not recommend that, but in this shop, I was doing a lot of different projects. And especially when I was working in my bathroom, that was a total nightmare in here because I was putting in drywall, which is absolutely a disaster when you're trying to work inside. Uh, I put tile in as well. I cut uh, lumber in here with a miter saw. This did absorb a lot of dust. Every once in a while I took a leaf blower and I blew out this side to blow it out the other side, but it did take on a lot of dust, but it had absolutely zero issues. I just thought it was important to bring that up. Not that I'm advocating that you should put this in a dusty environment because you should not. I'm just saying that it performed well in my environment and it's still performing well. That environment has changed. Now it's not as dusty in here. So it should not take on that amount of dust ever again in its lifespan. So I thought it was important to bring that up. It does perform well in a dusty environment, but if you're looking for something that is gonna be consistently in that, then you need a different inverter. This inverter is excellent in an environment where it's not super dusty, but it worked well during what period of time that I had it really, really dusty in here. And if you're looking to get into solar and you're wanting to do it at an affordable price and still have a quality inverter, the 6000 XP by EG4 is definitely one you want to add to your watch list. And if you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the description below so you can purchase it exactly where I got it from, it's from Signature Solar. And they've been great with working through customer service. If I ever had a question with them, I haven't had a problem with them whatsoever. So be sure to check it out if you're looking at a larger inverter that you want to power a lot of circuits with. You can connect multiple of these together and you can power everything in your house with this through an off-grid system. This is an off-grid inverter. You do not have to have an internet connection. The doggle is not something that you have to put on there. That's something that I wanna put on there. I wanna be able to track my data from anywhere in the world. So I know exactly how much uh, power that I'm using at any moment, whether I'm here and I can click it on the uh, monitor there or I can check it online. Also, you can start with one battery. You don't have to start with two batteries. You don't have to start with four batteries. And you can start with EG4 batteries and multiple lines of batteries. I did a full install on this, kind of showing you how to set this battery up with this inverter. That's why I want to do a full install uh, with the new big EG4 battery, because it's going to be a little bit different because there's parameters that you have to set. But that inverter will work with a lot of different batteries, gives you a lot of flexibility when you start building out a solar system. 